the Oscars this year are actually being built right here in the Hudson Valley. That is exciting. Yeah, it's a company called Polish Talix. Uh, they're down in Rock Tavern. We actually have the uh, vice president and general manager of the uh, company on the phone with us, Adam Demchak. Uh, good morning, Adam. Hey, good morning, guys. So explain us, how did you guys wind up making the Oscar Awards this year? What happens? Well, it, it was about a year ago. We were we were approached by the Academy. They were looking to make some changes to the to the way that the Oscars were fabricated. The past 30 years, they've been made with a company in Chicago, and it was uh, they, they were made out of a different material. And we're a bronze foundry, and the uh, company in Chicago wasn't able to do that. And that's what the uh, Academy was looking for. So they kind of set out looking for a foundry that was capable of doing what they needed to do, and they approached us, and and we've been working on it ever since. So now, are the so the awards that are going to be given out this year, they're different than the ones that have been given out for the past 30 years? They are a little different, right? They're made out of a different material, and, and what, we, what we did was we went back to an original 1928 Oscar, and we scanned that and reproduced it with some changes to the form and the shape, all based on direction from the Academy. So, yeah, the, the, the actual statuette that sits atop the base is a little different this year than it has been in, in recent years. So, now, what, what goes into actually making one of these? How long is this process that you have? Well, we made 57 Oscars this year, and we started in mid-December, and, and that's actually a fairly tight time frame. The first year we didn't have as much time as we would normally like to have, but um, basically three, three months of nonstop work in all the departments that we have here to get a, the top statuettes made and gold-plated, and the bottom bases are cast bronze also with nameplates and polished brass and things that go on top of them. You said you have, like, the nameplates and stuff. Like, did, do you, did you, like, write the winner's names on these? Do you know who won? We don't. And so what we do is we actually engrave nameplates for everyone who's nominated, and those go out to Hollywood along with the, the, the statuette. Oh, okay. And so when you're standing on stage and you win your Oscar, it, it's actually a blank Oscar. Your name's not on it yet. Uh, a, after the uh, ceremony at the governor's ball that runs along parallel with the ceremony, your win- the winners go over and get their nameplates officially affixed to the Oscar. That's cool. Now, you know, when you watch the Oscar Awards, the one thing that everybody does when you know, they get that award for the first time, and the first thing they always say is like, oh, my God, this thing is so heavy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, how heavy are these things? Uh, they came in, let me see if I can remember, about eight and a half pounds. So that's, 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 pretty, that's, that's considerable. Pretty good, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they're dense. The, the statuettes are cast in solid bronze. Bronze is mostly copper, so you can get an idea of it. You know, something that big and copper is heavy, and and the bases are are, are a thick bronze casting, also. All right. So now, look, I don't know if, if you can uh, give me an honest answer on this or not, but did were you tempted to like make a couple extra awards for yourself? <laughs> you know, the the security behind and around the production of the Oscars was one of the very first things we talked to the Academy about. They came out and toured our facility, and, and one of the big reasons they wanted to see is we wanted to get an idea of our security measures, our, you know, where are these things going to be stored, and how are we going to make sure that they're safe? So, no, it never crossed my mind to make an extra couple because every, they're all serial numbered. They're all, everything we make goes out, so we don't have anything in-house anymore. Once they're gone, they're gone, and and that's a big deal All right, well, to that's, the Academy. That sounds like a great answer, but I don't believe you one little bit. I know <laughs> if it was me, I would have a uh, Best Actor award right on my mantle at home. <laughs> <laughs> that's broadcast. <laughs> Adam, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate you uh, calling us this morning. And, man, this is exciting. So, you know, we'll, we'll be watching the, uh, the Academy Awards next weekend, and we know every one of those statues was right here in the Hudson Valley. That is so cool. That is so cool. It's really cool. And they approached you. I love that. Yeah. You didn't even have to like put the job out to, to bid on it or anything. They came to you. They came to the Hudson Valley. Very cool. Right. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. We're uh, excited. 